what Rachel's given us here, everybody, this is really cool, is she's going to show us and talk us through how she made her most recent painting, which she's just finished. This is the photograph that she based it on. So still in the same series. How old are your parents in this photograph? Uh, 28 and 32-ish, but that, I'm pretty sure because my brother's, that's my brother's knee on the bottom left. <laughs> my right. little brother's yeah, knee. Right. My, no, my older brother's knee. So he's, I think he's, a, basically, I think 28 and 32. Right, right. So really young. Very young, I, yeah. It seems really young now. When I was 32, I felt old, but now I look at this. And yes. <laughs> really young. Um, so talk us through this. So this is the beginning. How do you do something like this? Um, this was, um, I, I, I cheated and I'm going to cheat again. I haven't, I had never done this before. I blew, uh, this is that photograph is in a particular place in my house where I see it multiple times a day. I'm in love with that photograph. I have been dreaming about doing a painting of that photograph for at least 10 years, if not more. I mean, it's just something about that really speaks to me. Um, and so I knew there was going to be a lot of pressure and I knew it was, I was at risk for getting too precious with it. So what I did was I had the photograph blown up to the size of this panel which mm -hmm. is um, 30 inches by 22 inches. Um, I took it to like a local Kinko's or UPS or one of those where they can do that. Yeah. I bought um, oversized carbon paper. Okay. So I painted the panel a very, that neutral gray that you see in the middle of the figures, the unpainted figures. Yeah. yeah. Um, I put the, I attached the carbon paper. I put the, the, the blown up photograph over it and I traced through the carbon paper just the figures. If yeah. you scroll down a little bit, if you go back to the photo, I back, back up to the photo. I also edited the photo. I mean, I have taken several classes about yeah. that. When, you, when you're working from a photo, it's really important to get rid of lots of detail. You yeah. Know? I don't care about those people behind my parents. Yeah. I, I don't want them right at the head. So I shifted the composition. And you moved made, that building in the background, the one to higher. the... Right. I, I moved it higher. I didn't have it bisect the photo. Yeah, yeah. I made a lot of compositional decisions before I did the tracing. Yeah. So then I traced the figures so that I wouldn't spend 10 iterations getting the proportions right. Mm -hmm. Because I knew if the proportions were really off, it would bother me. So um, then I just, I had no idea what I was going to do with color. And I just, because I had this deadline and I've learned that I need a deadline because I knew I was speaking to you this week. I started this less than a week ago. I oh, said, wow. I didn't I realize, want to do yeah. I, I want to do something. I want to have something. And that's, that's really good for me. So for some people, pressure is not good. That's another message is everybody, you have to learn for yourself. For me, pressure is a good thing. Yeah. I just respond well to it. Um, not good or bad. It's just me. So I started and I was avoiding the figures because I was scared of the figures. <laughs> so I worked around them. Um, on the top right, there is a, an, an artist named um, Adam Vinson. I think he's at Vinsonist, at V-I-N-S-O-N-I-S-T on Instagram. And I love what he does with very little, a very minimal palette. He's, I think, so I have, a, I have a little image of an inspiration shot from him on the top right. I see, yeah. Um, so that was what was informing me as I was going along. Um, yeah, so you were sure it was, you knew it was going to be limited palette then you were. I did. I did. Eventually I want to go, I want to switch this up. I want to redo the image with crazy colors and something more telegraphic, but I knew I wanted this to be a limited palette for starters. Um, so then I, I was start, I'm starting to play with uh, value contrast and I'm sort of, it was way too dark on top and I sort of shifted that and I, I have, I never work with pink. I kind of hate pink. I don't know why I started putting some of that in there. That pale <laughs> thing. I really don't. I can't answer that. Um, and then I, I, was, I decided to post the progress along the way in Instagram of all of these. Yeah. And this one that you're looking at now got a huge response. People you saying, know. it's done, it's done. Leave, it's leave done. It. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I always get that. Yeah. And, and people, and, and what used to happen to me, and again, this is where I'm using myself as the client, um, I would be completely paralyzed by the praise i yep. would be unable to take a finger to it like what if people don't like it anymore and what if it what if i ruin it and i mean i i have you know friends buddies i used to work with and i would i would really be paralyzed if i liked anything that was the worst if I, well if i didn't like it it was bad in a different way but if i liked yeah. it it was terribly pressuring 
Um, but I, what was really great, you know, two years in is that I really, I mean, I was aware of that. I mean, it wasn't like I had no thoughts about I'll ruin it, but it was a very quiet voice. Yeah. 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 And that, that is, I, I always say, I think praise affects me worse than criticism. Yeah. Praise stops me in my tracks and makes me, or it makes me want to do the same thing over and over again to people, please. Like exactly. Well, people like it when I use green and blue, I should do a whole series. Exactly. No. <laughs> That's exactly. That's exa exactly what happened. Now um, this version is so much. So just go back to that. So people <clears throat> thought that was fantastic, but this really you've brought so much more into this now. And now you're defining the faces without totally. making them super specific, but they're, very right. clearly who they are now. Correct. And I, and I knew for this one, I mean, I sort of thought the one above was cool as well. I knew why people loved it. I loved it too. Yeah. But I was, I was clear on that wasn't my vision for this piece. Yeah. You know, that I wanted this to be more specifically them. Yeah. Um, I didn't want this to be anybody's parents. Yeah. Um, I mean, people can project it, but these were mine, you know. Yeah. And I was falling enough in love with it but it didn't feel dangerous this time. Like over time, it's become less dangerous to fall in love because it's my love. It's not other people's love. And, yeah. and, that's, and that's a difference. Yeah. Um, and here was, you know, was, and I, I also, this, I wanted to say this too, because I think this is important. I have, I think it's, um, it's mine, but I have a couple of people I check in with who are great, were just great art critiques for each other. You know, it's like, they're not going to say, oh, it's great, Rachel, which is lovely as far as it goes. But I, I, sometimes I want a certain kind of help. And there are people I've learned to trust who will be kind but firm about what's not working. Yeah. Um, and I had like over here, his body was bothering me. And I had great help on his body. There's still some things about it. She, she gave great help in the final version because I've, de I've decided it's finished in the next version that you'll see. But she, and I also, let me go back for a second, Louise. Uh, go, I also decided things were too, were too, like the, the strap on, the, on her left side it is. It, I just decided I want to mush some things up more. I wanted to mush him up more and make things a little bit less tight around her. Anyway, I, you'll see what, where I landed, the next one. I just sort of, I, again, I may, go, I may go in yet. And the shadow yeah, on his yeah. chest is a little too defined. So I may mess that up too. Right. But I messed I messed up the sand in front of them, and yeah. I I brought out the whites more in her because it's really all about her. Yeah. Um, really. So she's the only white white in the whole painting. Yeah. Um, and I threw sand over their legs, um, and um, I had a blast. It was. Really yeah. Fun. It's uh, what I I just think this is a masterclass in value contrast apart from anything else like the if you look at the dark roof of that building right. on the horizon which you've moved because in the photograph it was closer to the white building than to the edge but you've moved it there for composition correct and um and then you've got if you go down to dad his arm is really dark mum's hair is really dark the space between her legs is really dark. So all the, the, the different areas where you're moved around the painting by just the lights and darks. And like you say, because dad's darker and mum has got a white costume on, now mum is star of the show. And there's no doubt when you look at that painting where you get drawn to, but you don't end up just staring at her you go around and look at these other things because of the value contrast. So it's really masterful. And I was saying to you before we came on, but it does to me have a really retro feel. And yeah, it's the, the figures are still blurry enough that actually this could have been yesterday mm -hmm. on a beach somewhere because they haven't got any fashionable period clothes on. So it actually could be current and yet it's not, it feels like of its time. So I really love that. And Thank maybe you. it's the colors, maybe it's the, I don't know what it is, but it's just got a really tight feeling of its era. And thank you for the deadline. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that I was, I was gonna make yeah, you no, produce was, an amazing painting. It was super helpful.